is one of the easternmost countries of the Arab world, located at about the same latitude as the southern United States. It is bordered to the north by Turkey, to the east by Iran, to the west by Syria and Jordan, and to the south by Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. Iraq has 36 miles of coastline along the northern end of the Persian Gulf. As far as history is concerned, during ancient times, lands that are now constituted in the form of a country, Iraq, were known as Mesopotamia, a region whose extensive alluvian plains gave rise to some of the world's earliest civilizations, including those of Sumer, Akkad, Babylon, and Assyria. Iraq gained formal independence in 1932 but remained subject to British imperial influence during the next quarter century of the turbulent monarchical rule. Iraq was also indulged in few wars like Iran-Iraq War and Persian Gulf War. Till now, Iraq faces backlashes of these events. As far as the language is concerned, more than three-fourths of the people speak Arabic, which is the official language of the country. Other than Arabic, most other languages are also spoken, including English and much more. Iraq is predominantly by Muslim country in which the two major sects of Islam are represented more equally than in any other state. When we talk about the most important tourist destinations in Iraq, the number one in the list is Imam Hussein's shrine. Imam Hussein's shrine is the mosque and burial site of Hussein ibn Ali, the third Imam of Shia Islam in the city of Karbala, Iraq. It stands on the side of the mausoleum of Hussein, who was a grandson of Muhammad, near the place where he was martyred during the Battle of Karbala in 680. The tomb of Hussein is one of the holiest places in Shia Islam outside of Mecca and Medina, and many take pilgrimages to this site. Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib Shrine This shrine is located in Najaf, which is a city in Iraq, and is the place where he was buried. For many years after this demise, the location of this grave was a secret, which was discovered later. Currently, there is a magnificent structure which is comprised of four gates, five porches, and a large courtyard, and much more. Following the collapse of Saddam Hussein and the presence of Iranians, the shrine is being expanded. Similarly, the third in the list is Erbil Kurdistan. Erbil, which is also known in ancient history as Arbila and also spelled as Arbil and Arbil, is the capital and the most populated city in the Kurdistan region in northern Iraq. Human settlement in Arbil may be dated back to the 5th millennium BC, which would make the city one of the oldest inhabited city in the whole world. There are many places to visit in this particular place 
and it is considered as one of the most important tourist destinations in this place. Number 4 in the list is Al Javidan Holy Shrine. This shrine is located in the Kadimian suburb of Baghdad, which is a part of Iraq. It contains the tombs of the 7th and the 9th Imams of a sect in Islam, respectively Musa al Qasim and his grandson Muhammad al Jawad. And similarly, a lot of tombs are located in this place. So if you are on a religious visit, you should must visit this particular place. Number 5 in the list is Baghdadi Museum. Baghdadi Museum is a local historical museum located in and about the capital city of Baghdad. It was established in 1970. This museum is situated near the river Tigris. It features 70 scenes from different periods using life-size models presenting Baghdadi life. Number 6 in the list is Great Mosque of Kufa. The Great Mosque of Kufa, which is also called as Masjid al Kufa, is located in Kufa, Iraq, and it's one of the earliest and holiest surviving mosques in the world. The mosque, built in the 7th century, was home to Ali ibn Talib the fourth caliph in Islam and contains remains of many tombs. Number 7 in the list is Babliyun. Babliyun, which is called as the most historical and ancient city having the civilization of Mesopotamia, also called as Babylonia, it is one of the most important and most visited tourist destinations in the world. It is located near the Euphrates River, about 55 miles south of Baghdad, lie near the modern town of al Ila, Iraq. Number 8 in the list is Dukan Lake. Lake Tukan or Dukan Lake is the largest lake in Iraq. It is located close to the city of Rania and is a reservoir on the Little Zab created by the construction of Dukan Dam. The Dukan Dam was built between 1954 and 1959 and is a multi purpose dam to provide water storage, irrigation, and much more. Prior to flooding of Lake Tukan, the area has been subjected to archaeological research. So, it is a beautiful place to visit. Number 9 in the list is Basra Times Square. As far as the name Basra is concerned, it awakens grim memories. It is a city in southern Iraq that British troops spent four years trying to stabilize following the US invasion in 2003. It is where dozens of British soldiers lost their lives and from which they were eventually driven by the relentless and lethal attacks of various Islamic militants. Attacked on, Basra is still governed by Iranian-backed Islamist politicians and it remains an unprepossessing city to look at. I am somewhat surprised, therefore, when an Iraqi friend suggests we spend an evening at the city's new mall, a mall in Basra, I usually question to myself. But Basra Times Square is one of the beautiful malls in the 
country and you should must visit it as well. Number 10 in the list is Al Shaheed Monument. The Al Shaheed Monument was built under the regime of Saddam Hussein during his push to fill Baghdad with lasting monuments during the 1970s and 80s. So, in retrospect, it may strike some as a tripling artifact from a test sports rule, but it's hard to deny that it's a stunning work. The towering memorial was completed in 1983, designed by an Iraqi sculptor. So, this was a list of top 10 tourist attractions in Iraq. Now, if you have any comment, you want to share something to us, or if you have any query, you can tell us in the comment section. That's all from this video. Thank you.